All right, everybody. We got new music from Seal. Well, sort of. Guys, welcome back to the channel. Rewind, Relive, and Review. This is where I listen to different music, watch TV, movies, uh, give you my input on it, what I think, what I like, and I get your feedback as well. Uh, I like to hear from you guys, especially when new stuff comes out, whether it be movies, music, TV, anything. I love all things entertainment. And today I'm talking about some not so new music from Seal. It's actually Seal's second album, uh, affectionately known as Seal 2. And they released a deluxe edition. Now, I've got to go over a couple things because several years back, we got a deluxe edition. So there's some pros and cons to this. And I first want to start by saying that uh, if you aren't familiar with Seal's second album, please, over my shoulder, I go over it in its entirety. Check it out. It's a great album. Now that I got that out the way, I need to talk about the deluxe edition which is kind of the second deluxe edition. But before I do that as a basis, I want to go back to the deluxe edition or super deluxe edition of Seal's first album. Now, this is not new for hardcore Seal fans. The first Seal album got a deluxe edition way back in the day. And then we got a super deluxe edition last year and uh i was very very happy with that i'm one of those people that sought after the infamous premix album of the first seal cd and although i found it here and there i never pulled the trigger on it because of the price and then when i found out the super deluxe edition to seal's first album would contain the premix album as well in addition to rarities and live tracks, I was all on board. And it also came with LPs to go with it. So it was a win-win situation for every audiophile out there that loves Seal or a hardcore Seal fan. Now, bringing us to the present with the Seal 2 Deluxe Edition, and I'm only going to call it a Deluxe Edition because it's not a super deluxe per se, and we'll find out why. First, we're going to go back almost a decade to the original deluxe edition here. This one was the same Seal 2 album, but it also contained a 5.1 surround mix on there. And uh, that was a brilliant, brilliant album. I, I like the surround sound. It sounded really good on... A really good system so when i heard that there was going to be another deluxe edition for seal i was wondering what goodies we would get with that now i'm going to tell you right off the bat i wasn't happy when i found out it wasn't going to be in the same format um i'm ocd if you want to call it that when it comes to this kind of stuff and i figured i would get the big lp set and put it right next to the first Seal album. But as a cost-effective measure, because I guess people complain that the Super Deluxe Edition for the first Seal album was too expensive, they did release the Seal 2 album on LPs, but separate from the CDs. Obviously, I got the CD. And while it didn't have the LPs, let's see what it does have. It has the entire Seal 2 album, start to finish. It has been remastered. Now, I've been sitting on this for a couple weeks now, and I have to tell you, it is a good remaster. There's a lot of remasters out there that, for lack of a better word, lose a little bit of something sometimes. And I know a lot of people complain about sound quality of remasters. Remasters are really made for medium to high-end systems. Uh, they're made to bring out the sound. They're made to 
make things punchier. They're made to have you hear things that you may not have heard before because it was too far down in the mix. What this remaster does is just that. It brings things up in the mix and there's a tad bit more bass in it as well. I like that. So the sound quality to me is wonderful. Sounds great. Reminds me of the first seal, a super deluxe edition that we got for the first album. Sounds great. I have no problem with that. Now, the second disc is kind of reminiscent of the first deluxe edition. It's a bonus disc. Now, this second disc is the same as disc one. It's the entire album. It's not just a 5.1 mix. They take it a step further. It's in super high res sound and Dolby Atmos. So if you've got a Dolby Atmos system, this is going to sound great. And I noticed that a lot of reissues or remasters are coming with or as a Blu-ray audio or something with an Atmos track mix. So remember, the second disc on this new Deluxe Edition can only be played in your Blu-ray players. If you want that uh, Dolby Atmos or high-res sound, you'll need to be able to play it on that. So if you've got a Blu-ray player or a high-end gaming system, you should be able to play Disc 2 on here. Now, for the big guns, it comes with a third disc, which was not available with the previous Deluxe Edition of this album. Now, this contains alternate versions on this Rarities disc uh, of songs from the album, such as Bring It On, Prayer for the Dying, Kiss My Rose, Fast Changes, Newborn Friend, I'm Alive, Don't Cry, People Asking Why, Dreaming in Metaphors, and If I Could. Also on here is a new song that I haven't heard before called Reality. So I enjoyed that. It's always nice to get a few new tracks that people may not have heard before or not had. And it also contains Love is Powerful, another track that I haven't heard before. And then there's Manic Depression featuring Jeff Beck. Uh, a lot of people have heard that before. I believe that was on a Jimi Hendrix tribute album. Blues in E, which is a B-side to some singles. Also, The Wind Cries Mary. Another uh, B-side to some singles. And Fly Like an Eagle. And you guys might be familiar with that. That was kind of a uh, track that came, if I'm correct, uh, shortly after this album was released. I believe it was on the... What was that movie with uh, the Looney Tunes and Michael Jordan? Um the name escapes me, but you guys leave me a comment and let me know. But uh, that's where Fly Like an Eagle was released. It was on that soundtrack as well. Uh, another great song. This was a uh, Steve Miller band song previously. So that's the third disc there. All right. I'm a big Seal fan. So this might be the unpopular opinion, but here we go. I don't think we got enough. If you compare it to what we got with the first Seal album, Deluxe Edition, and I know I'm just calling it a Deluxe Edition. It was a super Deluxe Edition. This is more of a Deluxe Edition. And I don't think even adding the LPs in on it would have made it or put it on par with the first edition i think we need or at least deserve maybe three extra songs that uh, were previously unreleased or remixes i can live with that because i know that there was a lot of singles dropped for this album because i have them it would have been nice to have some more singles or remixes on this cd set i really think that there should have been an extra disc so if I were grading these and I graded the first uh, Seal album, the Super Deluxe Edition release, an A+, I would have to say that this album, Seal 2, the Deluxe Edition, is a B-. 
I'm not going to go lower than that because you do get some rarities, some goodies, and you do get that Blu-ray audio. But it is a B minus because I think that we could have got more. And I hope the studio is not holding out for another 10 year anniversary re-release because that wouldn't be cool. I, I don't really like to double dip, but at the same time, if I'm a big, big fan, you got my money. What can I say? You got my money. I want to hear from you guys. What do you think about Seal? Are you getting or do you have this deluxe edition? And what do you think about it? And moreover, how do you compare it to the deluxe edition from the first Seal album? And also, if you haven't subscribed, make sure that you subscribe. We're growing. We're getting bigger and larger. I want to see you be part of the community. I love you guys. And if you got anything else that you want me to get on, make sure that you let me know as well. All right? That's all the time I got for today. I will be back real, real soon. Stay positive. Stay blessed.